everybody. So we are day 14 on shelter in place. <laughs> how, how are y'all doing? <laughs> I am sometimes getting slap happy about this. <laughs> I mean, having two home-based businesses, I'm used to this, but whew, it is intense. And I saw some really weird things when I went out to do my one time a week grocery shopping. I'm kind of happy to be in my house. So, um, so today's topic is about how to strengthen your immune system. This is a huge topic, and this is going to be a very short video, but I'm going to tell you at the end how you can learn more. So our immune system is actually like an operating system on a computer. Okay, so like a computer, if the operating system isn't taken care of, it will crash, right? Have you ever had that? Oh my gosh, it like shatters your world if you have your entire work and business and life on a computer. Well, that's what the operating system, our immune system in our body is. If it crashes, it can really alter your life. So our bodies were built to have an immune system that can battle anything, any virus, any bacteria. But over time, it gets worn down. And when we get sick, that's actually our body telling us that our operating system has a virus, like your computer a new can station get... station alert oh. has arrived. Oh my gosh, that was like a new station alert from my weather station. That was just so bizarre and kind of rude. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, when our computers get a, get a virus, it attacks the internal operating system. Same thing with us. But this is one thing that we can fix. So we kind of live in a world right now where we feel like, oh my gosh, things are out of our control. This you have control over. So while the, while the medical field is frantically helping the people who are symptomatic right now with the virus, I'm not even going to say its name. It's like Voldemort. Not even going to say its name. They are busy helping people fighting the virus who have the virus. But I'm not hearing too many talk about what we can do when we're well, to actually stay well. And this, this is where I'm going to be talking more about this tomorrow night. Because there's a lot of things that we can do. And there's only so much I'm going to put in this really short video. Because I try to keep these under 10 minutes. But I'm going to give you one quick tip. And I'll talk about more tomorrow. It is more important now than ever to eat real food. Food that is still in its natural form. And it's because... There's Rudy. There's Rudy. So here's why. Because foods like fruits and vegetables and foods that are high in omega-3s like salmon and fish help. My phone is doing weird stuff. It just kind of went wacko on me. So I hope I'm still streaming. Um, but anyway, foods like fruit and veggies and foods high in omega-3s like salmon and fish basically prompt your body to make its own medicine so that it can fight illnesses and fight viruses and bacteria. Amazing, isn't that? So, but here for tomorrow, I actually have a task for you because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to post below in the comments about a webinar I'm doing tomorrow on the immune system. But for, for tomorrow, you can start this tonight if you want to, but for tomorrow, I have a task for you. I want you to make a list of everything that you eat, everything that you ingest, and everything that you put on your skin. Just keep a list. And then come to the webinar tomorrow at 7 p.m. There's a small fee for it, okay? So please don't freak out over that. There's just a small fee for it. Um, and there's even a discount if you join all three of my classes this month. But when you do that, it's going to make sense when you come to the webinar tomorrow night about things that you can do now that you totally have control over that you can do to boost and strengthen your immune system. So if you have autoimmune, this is really important to do even when we're not in a pandemic. And they're saying that we're actually going to be, that we are and have entered the worst two weeks of this. So we're going to see it get worse. I no longer watch the news because there's nothing that I can do about that. 
but there's everything that I can do to keep myself healthy, which is why this month I'm talking about the immune system, the respiratory system, and emotion. When you get cabin fever and you're like, oh my gosh. These are the three things we got to really boost. And these are the three webinars that I'm doing. So I'm going to post the link below so that you can get yourself registered. Because there's no need to feel out of control. You can boost your immune system. You have that control and you can create a lifelong habit in doing it. All right. See y'all later.